Officer Dan here, back with part two, the install video for the GK Tech Superlock lower control arm kit. Now let me explain a little bit about these control arms themselves. They're made of chromoly steel and CNC'd to perfection. They also have Teflon line bearings all around. They're the only one piece FLCA out there that allows the use of OEM style knuckles. I'd recommend the GK Tech V3s, but uh, cut and welds will work as well. They come in four flavors. The S13 and R32 versions coming in plus 9 to plus 44 millimeter, as well as plus 39 to plus 74 millimeter. We also have S14, 15, R33, and R34 from 0 to 35 millimeter and 30 to 65 millimeter. They offer two ball joint shank lengths, standard or plus 20 millimeter for ultra low cars. Now these benefit grip and drift drivers with 35 millimeters in length adjustment. They support well over 70 degrees of steering lock as well. I'll be installing our V3 NUX, which gives 70 lead and 65 trailing, giving a smidge of Ackerman. I've driven both, and I prefer to have a little bit of Ackerman in my setup. I just like the way that it feels. It's a little more responsive in the steering wheel. It doesn't feel like a bowl of oatmeal. What we're gonna do is kind of go through the whole process of setting up the actual lower control arm itself, and then we'll go about putting it onto the car. So we'll start with the first step, which is actually putting the unit together. Now you're gonna to wanna to set the length of your LCA off the car and actually measure the length side to side. You're gonna wanna do this for each side. So that way it's almost identical when you actually go to put it on the car. All right, so let's put these bad boys together. My handy dandy destruction sheet. Here's a quick visual on how to install the dust covers on the Himes. Easy. Next, you're gonna to wanna to have your lock nuts threaded all the way on. Go ahead and install the Himes into the lower control arm. Remember, they're reverse thread. The larger washers are going to be for the lower control arm mount. There's the difference between the two, so you can tell which one is which. The smaller ones are going to go on the tension rod side of things. As you can see, they're stackable, and you can change those stacks around depending on how much caster you want to change. This is the bump stop install. Place the washers on top of the spacer, slide them under the bracket. Put the screws through. Flip the lower control arm over. Lift it up just a little bit. Just enough to get the other washers and spacers underneath. Run it down. And then install the nuts onto the bottom. Perfect. And it is adjustable, so you can change it to your liking. This is the ball joint shank. Fits into the knuckle as such. This is how you install the dust cover onto the shank spacer. So you wanna install into the knuckle first. This way it makes sure that the taper is seated into the knuckle properly. We'll put the silver washer down and then run the nut onto the top. Use a wrench to kind of hold the other one down and go ahead and impact that thing on. You wanna make sure that that taper is in there well. And the torque specs for the knuckle itself are gonna be 90 to 120 Newton meters or 66 to 90 foot pounds. You want to install the black spacer on the bottom, then run that nut down. Go ahead and impact that thing on. And it's gonna be the same for the bottom nut as well. That one's gonna be 90 to 120 Newton meters or 66 to 90 foot pounds. Now you're gonna to wanna to take some time and a set of calipers to actually measure the distance that you're going to extend your control arms. You can keep them down at 30 millimeters extended or you can extend them all the way out to the 70 plus. And you wanna do this to both sides at the exact same time so that they're the same length. And here's your completed lower control arm slash knuckle assembly ready to go on the car. As you can see, I've put it in fully extended and right in the middle of the settings. I tossed the wheel on so you could see that the, ver the front wheel has uh, got quite a bit of caster in it. It's, it's pretty close to that front fender, and it's also got a ton of negative camber without adjusting the camber plates on the coilovers at all. The offset strut tops that we offer can combat that, so you can run your LCAs out as far as you want and still have a reasonable amount of negative camber. Here's with the 30 millimeter, or all the way in, um, you can see that it has a lot less negative camber and it is much, much more centered in the wheel. That shows how much you can actually adjust with those little washers. 
Go ahead and tighten everything back down with your wrenches and then actually put the nuts on and install them back onto the uh, control arm and the tension rod brackets and retorque everything to spec. And you can see just how much angle you can get. Now keep in mind the tie rod is still disconnected at this point, but I just wanted to show you guys that it will hit the frame rail before it will hit the lower control arm on both sides of the car. Outstanding. And that's all she wrote for the GK Tech Superlock lower control arm install. Hope you guys enjoyed. I gotta put this next one together and throw it on the other side of the car. If you have any other questions, leave it in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe. And you guys have a wonderful day. Officer Dan out. Peace.